Hi. How are you? It's time for yet another tutorial and this one is called Leaf and uh, we're going to be talking a lot about the pen tool. We're also going to use the shape tool. We're going to modify some anchor points using the direct selection tool. We're going to combine shapes using the shape builder tool and the pathfinder and so we're just going to go crazy. Um, we're also going to learn how to manage layers in Illustrator. So if I were you, I'd be pretty excited. So what you're going to want to do is download the uh, Leaf JPEG and open it up in Illustrator. So here is the Leaf JPEG opened up in Illustrator. This cute little guy right here. And uh, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to trace him. And so to help us manage the layers, let's uh, create some. And so if you go over to your layer palette, um, you'll see that uh, the you'll see that we're on one layer here. And what I'm going to do is uh, lock this layer because I actually don't want to edit it. And so I'm going to actually create a new layer on top of it that allows me to draw on top of it and uh, not have to worry about affecting this layer at all. So to create a new layer, just go down here to the new layer thumbnail and click it and we'll get a new layer. We're actually going to create a couple of layers, but we'll just mess with this one right now. Now we're going to draw the uh, the leaf, and to do that, let's get the pen tool. So the shortcut for the pen tool is the letter P on your keyboard. And I'm going to start right here at the very top of the leaf, and I'm just going to click one time to create an anchor point. And then you'll notice as we uh, drag this around that there's this continual line that's kind of stuck to that anchor point. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to click right here where that next anchor point is going to go and then because we want it to curve we're going to click and hold down the button on the mouse and then we're going to drag uh, a curve until it fits that line so I'm going to click and I'm holding down the mouse and I'm going to drag this line until it fits that line right there now what these two things right here are called are handles and these essentially allow us to create bezier curves or Bezier curves? I don't know. Um, now, the next portion of the line is going to be curved, and I don't like that because I need to pretty much go straight up to this next little point here. So I need to get rid of one of the handles. To do that, just click on the last anchor point, and it removes that handle. And now I can have a straight line, and I can click right there, and I can drag, you know, to just barely fit that little curve excellent and now I want to curve again so I'm going to click that anchor point get rid of a handle and I'm going to go down to this next part and drag the line till it fits click that anchor point go to my next point and then you'll just want to do this on each part of the leaf Now when I get here to the bottom, I want to make sure that this last anchor point is directly underneath the first one. And you can see that if that's the case by there being this line right here that uh, is snapping it more or less to uh, that first anchor point. So I'm going to click and drag, get rid of my anchor point, my handle right there, and then I'm going to go straight up to this first anchor point and I'm closing the shape and I know that I'm closing the shape because my icon has that little circle on the bottom right of it so I'm gonna click and now that shape is completed so right now it has a white fill and a black stroke and I'm gonna change that I want it to be uh, any color basically that you want to create it so I'm gonna make mine a nice uh, it's, it's almost fall so I'm gonna make it this nice kinda fall orange or maybe a Texas Longhorns burnt orange and I'm going to get rid of the stroke I don't want the stroke so I select my stroke and then hit the none button there and now I have half of my leaf so what the heck why do I only have half the leaf I want to create a full leaf I mean when's the last time you ever saw just half of a leaf so we're gonna create the other side 
by simply copying this side. So I'm going to select this side, hold down Option or Alt if you're on a PC, and I'm going to click and drag it over. So let's flip this, and all you have to do is right click, go down to Transform, and then you want to Reflect. And we're going to reflect it over the vertical axis. So hit OK, and it flips it. Now I can just line it up. Line it up. So now it looks like I have an entire leaf. The only problem is, is right now it's two separate shapes. So we're going to actually merge those two shapes together, and it's actually pretty easy with a tool called the Shape Builder tool. So to use it, I'm going to select both of my shapes, and I'm going to select the Shape Builder tool right here. And all I need to do is click and drag this line, and then it merges the two together. So now, instead of having two separate shapes, I have one shape that looks like a leaf. Now to complete this upper portion of the leaf, I'm going to add a black stroke around the entire thing. And I'm going to make it pretty thick. Looks awesome. Now to complete the leaf shape, I'm just going to use the uh, pen tool and I'm going to create the uh, stem. So again, grab my pen tool. And this is going to be one of those points where it actually might help to not get rid of a handle and just follow that curve around. You're going to get a lot more smooth curve. So you notice that the stem is in front of the leaf, and what I want to do is get it behind it. So to do that, just select it and then right click, and then go to Arrange and say Send to Back. I mean, don't actually say it, just click it. Because that would be kind of strange. So now that I have this complete leaf, um, I'm just going to select it all, and I'm going to move it over to the side so that I can see my face that I'm going to draw. And then I'm going to go over to my Layers palette, and I'm going to create a brand new layer. So click the New Layer button. And I'm going to lock my leaf layer. I just, again, I want to make sure that I'm not actually editing anything on that particular layer. And now I have this layer that I can create the face on. The first thing we're going to do with the face is create the eyes. And so I want to make sure that I have a black stroke and a white fill. So I'm just going to select this default right here. And I'm going to grab an, uh, the ellipse tool, so the letter L on the keyboard. And I'm going to draw an oval that's roughly the same as the eye, or as close as, that I, as, as I can get it. Now, the cool thing with anchor points, because you'll notice that this oval has the four anchor points, is that uh, with the direct selection tool, I can actually modify where those are and kind of the shape uh, and change the overall shape of the oval. So I'm going to get the direct selection tool, that's the letter A on the keyboard. And if I double click an anchor point, then you'll notice I get those handles. So I can also just drag out part of the, uh, the anchor and kind of start creating the shape that I want. And um, I can use these handles to more or less create kind of this, I guess it's kind of this egg shape for the eye. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to get back to my move tool, the letter V on the keyboard. And I'm going to copy this over. So again, to copy it over, just hold down the Alt or Option key. And then I'm going to move it over till it fits the eye. And then you'll notice that the, uh, the right eye here is a little bit uh, um, smaller. So I'm going to scale it until it fits about the right size. And then I want it to be behind there. So again, I'm going to right click on it, choose Arrange, and then Send to Back. So I basically have my eyes. I'm going to make my stroke just a little bit thicker. Maybe something like that it looks good. And then I need to add the pupils. So I'm going to uh, grab my ellipse tool. And I want to make sure that I have a black fill and no stroke. I'm going to hit the None button. And then I can kind of just... Uh, Put the pupils where they look the best. And there's the eyes. Awesome. Next is the mouth. 
And so for the mouth, we're actually going to create three separate paths using the pen tool. So grab the pen tool and then uh, make sure you have a black stroke and no fill. And then I'm going to do what I did earlier. I'm going to click to make my uh, primary anchor point and then I'm going to click and drag to fit that curve. Now because we're creating three distinct paths here um, and naturally it wants to keep going, all I have to do is hit enter on the keyboard and then I can come over here and create this other path. Then I can do the same thing, hit enter again and now I can come over and create this beautiful smile. Awesome. And again, I want to kind of thicken up that stroke to make it look like he's really happy. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn these strokes into shapes. And so to do that, make sure that each one is selected and go up to Object, Expand. Leave all the settings the same and hit OK. And then we're going to merge them together using the Pathfinder tool. So the Pathfinder tool you can locate in Window, down to Pathfinder. It opens that up, and then with all of them selected, go ahead and click this one that is that uh, is called Merge, and it actually merges them all together. So now the shape is actually the shape of the mouth. Last step is to put the face onto the uh, the leaf. So I'm going to go back into my Layers palette. I'm going to unlock the leaf layer. And then I'm going to select the entire leaf and I'm going to scoot it right on over until it fits right perfectly there. And, uh, and then because I don't need this background layer anymore, I can go ahead and drag that one down to this little trash can. And my little leaf, my cute little fall leaf, is all done. So all you need to do now is export it as a JPEG and upload it to Canvas.